coming back. You are now making the return voyage. You are returning to the world of familiar things. This is a crucial period. The things you see and the people around you may still seem different to you. Do not try to rush your re-entry. During the next few hours, imprints will be formed which will determine how you will see things in the days to come. Be quiet and careful. Be aware of the photographs you are taking now with your neurological camera. Do not expose yourself to distraction. You may feel that you have supernormal powers, telepathy or clairvoyance. Do not make the mistake of thinking that these powers are yours through merit. They are merely the natural signs that you are in the re-entry phase. Recognize where you are. A Zen master said, My greatest miracle is that when I feel hungry, I eat. And when I feel thirsty, I drink. As your spaceship re-enters the atmosphere of the planet, pay attention to where you are landing. This is a unique moment of free choice. The chess pieces which comprise your personality can be arranged in many different ways. You may yourself, as an artist, develop the games of your life and lend it animation. You may complicate it or enrich it as you please. An endless multiplicity in the games of life. That is just what life is when it is beautiful and happy. A game. 
one can also do all kinds of other things with it. Make a duty of it, or a battleground, or a prison. But that does not make it any prettier. As you re-enter, it is important to remember the effect of your own attitude. Choose consciously. Be aware of where you are going as you return to routine life. Be impartial. Do not re-enter into your old robot out of fear. Do not rush back with desire or craving. Be detached. Choose your new self freely, consciously. You have five centers of conscious functioning. The thinking center will make its own new imprint. Your feeling center will make its own new imprint. Your moving center will make its own new imprint. Your sexual center will make its new imprint. Your instinctual center will make its new imprint. The imprints you are now making will govern much of your life in the days to come. The imprints you are now making of other people will remain strong in the days to come. Don't rush. Don't grab. Don't hold on to any one pattern of thought or feeling.
two monks were walking near a brook. They met a girl unable to cross. The first monk picked the girl up and carried her over. They continued their walk in silence. That evening, the second monk finally turned to his companion and burst out. You know we are forbidden to even look at women, far less touch one. Why did you do that? The first monk replied, I set her down three hours ago. Are you still carrying her? Try to remain high as long as possible. If you have started to come down already, try to regain the transcendence of the earlier, most intense period. This will ensure a smooth, gradual re-entry. This is a precious opportunity for gaining insight and understanding. Do not waste it by rushing back to your familiar world out of desire or fear. In order to prevent or postpone the return Meditate as follows. Think of your protective figure or guide as like the reflection of the moon in water, apparent yet non-existent, like illusion produced by magic. With this in mind, contemplate the figure tranquilly. Then let the visualized form melt away, starting at the extremities. Meditate without thinking upon the void, clear light. If you have not found liberation in this session, there is still time. Meditate as follows. The visions and hallucinations which you are now having indeed all phenomena are in their nature illusions however reality may appear to you in truth it is unreal Dreams, apparitions, non-permanent, non-fixed.
do not be attached or afraid of the products of your own mind. If you take these illusory forms for reality, you will wander around in this confused existence. They are like dreams, echoes, cities of clouds, mirages, mirrored forms, not real even for one moment. pointedly to that train of thought and the belief that your visions are real will be dissipated. The world will glow for you and liberation attained. was a butterfly. He woke up. He said, Now I do not know whether I am a man who dreams he is a butterfly or a butterfly who dreams he is a man. Sometime during this period, your spaceship may encounter turbulence as it re-enters the atmosphere of the Earth. You may feel confused and bewildered. You may wonder about your sanity. You may look at your fellow voyagers and friends and sense that they cannot understand you. You may think, I am dead. What shall I do? And feel great misery, like a fish out of water. You may wonder if you will ever regain your normal self. Familiar places, relatives, people known to you appear now as in a dream or through a glass darkly. If you are having such experiences, thinking will be of no avail. So do not struggle to explain. This experience is the natural result of your own mental program. Such feelings are signs that you are in the third or return phase of the session. Trust your guide. Trust your companions. Trust the natural flow of the process. Recognize calmly without distraction.
a man traveling across a field encountered a tiger. He fled the tiger after him. Coming to a precipice, he caught hold of the root of a wild vine and swung himself down over the edge. The tiger sniffed at him from above. Trembling, the man looked down to where far below another tiger was waiting to eat him. Only the vine sustained him. Two mice, one white, one black, little by little started to gnaw away the vine. The man saw a luscious strawberry near him. Grasping the vine with one hand, he plucked the strawberry with the other. How sweet it tasted. As you return from your psychedelic session, you see spread out before you the world, your former life, a planet full of fascinating possibilities, objects, and events. Each aspect of this return voyage can be a delightful discovery. Soon you will be re returning to take your place in worldly affairs. The key to re-entry is this. Take it easy, slowly, naturally, Enjoy every second. Don't rush. Don't be attached to your old games. Recognize that you are in the re-entry period. Everything you see and touch can glow with radiance. Each moment, a joyous discovery. <laughs> 